In this video, we are going to discuss about metrics, roles and responsibilities in service level management. So what are the metrics in service level management? The metrics are clearly defined service level agreements, operation level agreements and underpinning contracts. So it is very clearly defined, agreed and signed document so that it can be improved in future. Performance against agreed service level agreements. So performance needs to be improved by getting the service level met each and every time when you have an issue. Shortfalls in SLAs and consequent SIPs. So when, whenever you fall short of the SLAs, that means if the response SLA for so and so issue is one hour, but you are not able to meet that SLA, so then the service improvement plans will be introduced or will be implemented so that this can be minimized and get it to the specified time what we agreed in the document. Number and severity of service breaches. So the number of service breaches and what is the severity? Here breach in the sense whenever we do whenever we won't meet the time that means response time or resolution time in service level management. So the severity of the breaches will be counted and number of severities we also will be counted which can be again related to service improvement plans to get this shortfalls in SLA minimized. Improvement in customer satisfaction. So based on the service improvement plans implementation and cutting short of the shortfall in SLA, we can get a customer satisfaction and customer relationship should be very strong here. Coming to the roles and responsibilities of the service level management are the major role is service level manager. So who is a service level manager? A service level manager is a process owner and also he review and report the service level agreement. Maintaining an effective service level management process that means by defining SLAs, OLAs and UCs a service level management will be maintained in effective way so that the service level agreements, operation level agreements and underpinning contracts are properly maintained. Updating the existing SLAs, SIPs, OLAs and UCs. So, each and every time when you have an improvement that is service improvement plans are implemented and also you can see the improvement in SLAs, OLAs and UCs so that the, upda the updating the existing ones also takes place and it should be maintained. Reviewing and improving the performance of the IT organization to meet agreed service levels so that you can review and improve the IT services based on the performance which we get from the service improvement plans and these are agreed service levels which we can meet with the customer requirements.